everyone, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about consultation in Odoo 16. In Odoo, consultation refers to the process of combining financial data from multiple subsidiaries into a single financial statement. Consultation in Odoo typically involves mapping of charts of accounts, currency conversions, intercompany transactions, consultation, and report analysis. Let's consider a real-time scenario where a parent company owns multiple subsidiary companies which is running in different region or industry. Let's say a company ABC MNC owns two subsidiaries, subsidiary A and subsidiary B and which has independent financial records. And ABC need to consolidate the financial statements of both companies in order to get a comprehensive financial statement. So let's see how to manage consultation in Odo 16. For that first we need to ensure that we have uh, multiple companies and under users and companies of settings you can see the companies that are available and we have to set the currency uh, of each of the companies. So my company San Trent, I mean Chicago uses the currency as USD and uh, we can also see uh, my company San Francisco uses uh, the currency as Canadian dollar and when you go to the accounting module and in the report you can see the profit and loss so that shows all the profit and loss uh, that has happened while consolidating so this uh, shows all the uh, net profit income uh, gross profit operating income total operating incomes and uh, total cost of revenue total gross profit other income expenses and all after that what we have to do is uh, we also need to ensure that we have enabled multiple companies over here now let's back uh, to the consolidation module and uh, we need to create a consolidation for that just get into the consolidation and under consolidation you can see uh, yeah under configuration we can see consolidation and let me create a consolidation for the period um, um, May so let me create profit and on me and here you can choose the targeted currency so i'm setting the targeted currency as cad because currently the company is in my company san francisco which is the default uh currency and you can also invert the balance and after that uh, let me consolidate companies so currently we can choose the companies that are available so select that after that we can also make advanced consolidation by defining complex uh, consolidation based on the other sub uh, consolidations so let me save this as you save this we can uh, create different groups so let me create different groups such as income then other income and can also create expense account so we have created uh, different accounts and uh, uh, I mean groups and we can set uh, these groups in each of the uh, account so let me choose uh, income as the account name and you can set uh, the income account and you can uh, click on add a line and search for uh, income type and add all the incomes that are available so you need to search with the type as income so you, you can see all the income accounts that are currently available and you can select that after that you can see uh, all uh, those are added here and under consolidation groups uh, we also need to create another uh, account uh, so let me create another account that is other income so you can choose the group other income and set the group as other income as you can also set uh, the companies here so search for other income so you need to set the type as other income and you can set that now under other income we can set the group of other income and you can click on add a line under uh, the accounts and search for other income so you will get all other income accounts of both uh, companies that is my company Chicago and my company San Francisco now you can select this and uh, let me save this and after that we also need to create another account name so let me click on new in order to create another account name so here we can set the account name as expense and uh, setting the conversion currency 
uh, method as closing rate itself and you can choose the expense uh, as a group now we need to set expense account for uh, the company so you can search for expense so you will get all the expense uh, accounts uh, for both companies and you can search that and we have added all the expense account and after that you can save the changes so when you back to the consolidations you can see uh, all the consolidation accounts and under profit and loss of me here you would able to see that uh, the groups that we have created and the accounts that we have created and under period we can set the period so let me set a period uh, with the target currency as a uh, Canadian dollar and start period and uh, end period so let me st set the start period as May uh, May 1st and May 1st and uh, it will be ending on uh, May 31st so let me set it as May 31st so you can see uh, company periods are set here with the currency uh, and the start date and end date you can also see the consolidation rate average rate and currency end date I mean uh, end currency rate after that if you want to add more field uh, just click on this icon so this enough you to uh, get the consolidation method that we have used ownership rate and control uh, excluded journals everything will be visible here <clears throat> so we have both correct uh, fields and everything uh, and uh, let me save this so once you save this uh, you can edit this data and you can also recompute so when you click on recompute the data uh, will be I mean the consolidation report will be recomputed and you can see two journals has created here uh, with uh, the consolidating accounts and you can see the balance uh, of consolidating account under my company uh, Chicago and my company San Francisco which is shown in negative sign as we have enabled the inverted sign now when you back to the profit and loss of me here uh, you can see the consolidate so you can see all the consolidates under the total income expense uh, I mean uh, total expenses income accounts and other accounts now when you back to the uh, consolidations you can also review the chart so if you want to review the charts of accounts it is possible to view all the charts of accounts and under operations also you can see the consolidation entries so so this uh, shows the consolidation entries of each uh, company so here you can see the consolidation amount of May uh, in each of the company <clears throat> currently for my company Chicago the consolidating accounting is zero and we can also see uh, the consolidation um, yeah consolidation uh, that we have created will be visible in the dashboard now if you want to consolidate the balance you can just click on consolidate balance so this will be uh, directing to the balance I mean uh, to the report of consolidated balance and uh, this uh, shows the total income expense as well as other incomes of the consolidation now let's back to the dashboard and when you click on the three dots you can see uh, we can either close the period so when you click on close period this will be closed and you can also uh, reopen the period if you want and uh, you can also uh, view the journals and the charts of accounts that we have used in a consolidation uh, so if you want to view the consolidation I mean charts of accounts that's used for consolidation you can view that and you can also set priority for each of the consolidation with color highlights. Hope the concept of consolidating entries is clear for you. Thank you for watching the video. As always, stay awesome.